Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. A TikTok creator has died from COVID-19 after urging people to get vaccinated in her final videos, which were filmed in her hospital bed. Alexandra Blankenbiller shared a video on August 15th with her 15,000 followers that stated, quote, I don't have a lot of energy for talking, so I'm going to try to make this quick. I did not get vaccinated. I'm not anti-vax. I was just trying to do my research. I was scared and I wanted me and my family to all do it at the same time. As I'm sure you guys know, it's hard to get everyone to agree on something if people feel differently. I do think it was a mistake. I shouldn't have waited. If you are even 70% sure that you want to get vaccinated, go get it. Don't wait, go get it. Because hopefully if you get it, then you won't end up in the hospital like me. It's not saying that you'll not get COVID, it's just a layer of protection, so hopefully it's not as severe. According to WebMD.com, the 31-year-old died nine days later at Orange County Medical Center in her home state of Florida, and her family blames misinformation. WebMD reported Tuesday, quote, like many Americans, Blankenbiller had been hesitant to get the vaccine. She had read conflicting information about the available COVID-19 shots, and she and her family didn't want to get immunized until everyone was on board. When they all agreed to go get their shots, Blankenbiller, along with her mother and two sisters, made their appointments. But they fell ill before their scheduled time slots. Blankenbiller's sister, Rachel Blankenbiller, said, quote, Her final video really showed a lot of who she was. She was selfless, the type of person who used her final days to help others. Allie Caden, director of Blankenbiller's a cappella singing group, added, quote, She cared deeply about her helping others, and I think it was that compassion for others that drove her to try and educate people through her final videos. She did not want anyone, even a stranger watching her videos on TikTok, to go through the pain and heartache that she and others on the COVID ward were going through. And if she could help even one person, she would. WebMD noted that Blankenbiller's last four videos were all filmed in the hospital. Quote, in a chilling video from August 13th, there were screams coming from another room and Blankenbiller looked scared, the site reported. So tragic, but selfless that she wanted to take time to explain her choices and what she would have done differently if given the choice. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the full story at rawstory.com. And if you would like to see more of the Raw Report, be sure to like and subscribe below and join others who like their news raw too.